guys. I'm whispering. <laughs> I get so vlog shy. We are at Lowe's. There's the hubby. Yo, yo, yo. He's the the wood whisperer because he has to like inspect it like a crazy person. Not a crazy person. Just the person that gets it right. <laughs> Just... Idaho Pine is our favorite wood. It's from Lowe's right here. It has like the perfect grains for when Lori does her stain. Yeah. Perfection. For sure. So we're going to uh, do our farmhouse table tomorrow and we're buying basically all the wood that Lowe's has because it's a lot. So I'm excited. We're really excited. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is like my least favorite part because Daryl takes forever. And this is the only time that I take forever shopping. Do you know that? Yeah, that's true. You only get one shot at this, one opportunity. Okay, Eminem. <laughs> so we got, what, three down? Three down and like 20 more to go. <laughs> but the cool thing about building something is you're creating something from nothing. Like this is wood that's going to turn into a table. Like that's crazy. See that right there? Hold on, Daryl wants to explain something. That's a good piece. You see that grain? I don't know if you can really see it. There you go. See that grain? Look how nice that is. It's gonna look so nice when it's stained. Yeah. And Ooh. that's my main thing when I ask him to pick out wood. I always tell him like, pick out the wood that has the best grain because that gets me excited. Like, I'm really in love with staining. You guys already know that. So I always tell him like, pick out a good grained wood and I will have a field day staining it because it's so much fun to me. Daryl's really creative, I'm real creative. So definitely doing furniture building and furniture design like this might be what we do for a profession. This might be something good because we could do it all day, every day. Oh guys, actually, so I've been getting a lot of people asking us in the Texas area if we build furniture and we sell it. So. What we're thinking is, I'm gonna try and place you guys somewhere. <laughs> so what we're thinking is we can start building furniture and selling it in the Texas area and we'll go to you guys because we do have a truck so we can definitely do that. So once we get everything settled and we get like the whole process done, we definitely would not mind selling these pieces. We really, really would love to do that and customize it and do all that fun stuff. So yeah, once we get everything settled and everything organized, we'll definitely let you guys know. But in the meantime, we're gonna do smaller stuff like the little trays and the wall art that I've been talking about. And that should be up sometime next month. So my Etsy shop should be going up sometime next month and we're gonna sell smaller stuff, but the furniture stuff will be coming very, very soon. Can you help me? <laughs> Look at this little monkey up here. You need teamwork again? What's gonna work? Teamwork. If you guys know that reference, you guys probably have kids or nephews or cousins that love the Wonder Pets. <laughs> All right, two more for the tabletop. Be careful, baby. We're almost finished. I love the paint One Republic. We love One Republic. That's like babe, babe right there. We went to go see them in the, uh, what's it called? The amphitheater? Yeah, the... Austin 360? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, that was a really good concert. We were like almost front row. That was pretty awesome. All the right moves in all the right places. So, yeah. We I should have it, my bad. <laughs> He's over here like a mad scientist. Oh, hi. You're like an architect. I, I always want to be an architect. You, well, I, used, I used to want to be an architect. You know what's crazy, guys? Like, I feel like this business, I'm going to place you guys right here so we can talk. I feel like this business that we're doing is like perfect because I've always been into home decor and he used to want to be an architect. That's what he wanted to go to school to study. And our dreams just collided together. It was pretty awesome. So now, like, I tell him what I want or in my head, I design it and he draws very well. So he draws it out and it just works out really really well so his drawing skills are on point <laughs> that guy looked at me like i was crazy
<laughs> he looks like a skateboarder with a hat. <laughs> What's up guys? This is Daryl. You guys like my hat? <laughs> okay, so check it out. So here's what I'm doing. So I just, it's called joining. I call it ripping just because I like to call it ripping, but basically I took the table saw and I took 28 pieces of wood to do this table. And I just simply ran them across the blade just to make them a perfect 90 degree, uh, degree angle so they fit together with uh, like a butcher block style. So now what I'm doing, I'm picking out the actual pieces of wood that we want to use for the tabletop. So now this is like where the creativity comes in and you're looking like, okay, what grain is going to go good together, all that fun stuff. So that's what we're doing now. So the cool thing about staining in my point of view is when we're picking out which wood for the tabletop, I like to pick different types of colors. So as you can see, this one right here is a little bit darker than this one. So the staining is going to hit this one a lot different. And as you can see, as you go on more and more, they're all different. So it's going to look really, really cool. And the very bottom one, let me move this a little bit. The very bottom one is beautiful. So that's going to be a really pretty wood to stain. And as you can see, it's going to be very different. So I can't wait to show you guys how the stains will look on this. All right, guys, so here's my planning technique. What I try to do is take a piece of wood and understand as I rip it through the planer, I like to use the word rip it. As I put it through the planer, I know that most of the wood is gonna come out spotless. It's gonna come out really sharp and nice and very, very clean cut, very smooth. And that's exactly what I want. But what I do, because I know that we're gonna make a six foot table, I still leave my two by fours at, a, at an eight foot length because I know that with the planer, you're gonna have dips in the front of it. I can show you after I do this, but because of how the wood comes into the planer and it picks up a little bit like that, it causes a dip and a little mark in the wood. So you have to be aware of that. So you wanna make sure you plane after you cut your 90 degree angles with your wood and, and join them. So after you join, you really wanna plane and then you can make your minor saw cuts to get it exactly how you want. Okay guys, so this is what I'm talking about here. You see how there's a little line right here? So because I've been able to plane a few things, I've realized that what you want to do when you're planing something down and you're making it uh, have a smaller width, what you want to do is go by half steps on your planer, meaning you don't want to crank the thing all the way around, the handle all the way around when you're going down. You want to go by half steps, halfway this way, halfway that way, halfway this way, halfway that way. That way you have a minimal line like this. And so this is not that bad. So even if you wanted to have basically an eight foot table, maybe like seven foot eight or something like that, you could do it right here if you take your miter saw and just cut this down. Even though we're going to six because that's the length that we'd want. So this is our dining room table right now. We've had this for about two years. And in those two years, we have moved around three times. And we got a lot of scratches on here. I will show you right now. There's scratches. When we bought this table, there was actually already scratches on the table. So we got around 75 bucks off, which is pretty awesome. But I never got over the scratches because they just look so intense. And I really, really wanted to make our own farmhouse table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to refinish this table. I'm going to sand it all down and paint it white and weatherproof it. And we're going to use this as our dining room table outdoors because we're going to build a little small pergola and we want to place this under the pergola. It's going to look super cute. So of course I will film that when I refinish it and show you guys how I do it. So I'm really excited for that. As you can see here, our lighting is the very basic lights that came with the house. These are the builder grade lights and I absolutely don't like them at all. So I am going to change that out. Let there be light. Ooh, that looks so romantical. Look at the walls. Wow. That's why I liked it. Cause the walls, it gives like this honeycomb effect. 